Heather Eaglin and welcome to my first tutorial slash get ready with me where you will see me go from this to this. This video has been highly requested by the people in my personal life and I wanted to make it anyway so why not. Let's get started. Here I will be showing different palettes. I'll have them all linked in the description box. I always use more than one but you don't have to. I just like to mix different ones to create new color stories. Something new and exciting. These brushes are from Singe Beauty by Angelica Nikovist. Okay, you see me starting with a darker shadow and a smaller brush. When you are applying eyeshadow, the best way I've found is to start with a small brush and apply the darkest shade. The darker the shade, the smaller the brush. The bigger the brush, the lighter the shade. You'll see me, I just keep deepening it up and blending it out as I go. That brush is perfect because it fits perfectly into the like corners of your eyes. And I personally have hooded eyes, so it's hard for me to be able to get in there good. And that's why I love them so much. Now I'm just blending out the edges of the shade. Blending them out usually does take some time, so during parts of that, I will fast forward through it so we don't have to sit there for hours and watch. Now I'm using a bigger brush and I'm going over the very edges of that darker shade. Try to smoke it out, blend it out. Something you will notice too is I go back and forth between the darker and the lighter shade a lot. Just go back and forth between your brushes. Right now I'm adding more of that dark shade and then I'll use that bigger brush that I just used with the light pink and I'll blend out the edges again. It just gives you more definition. Watching this back on the replay. I'm learning that I had no idea how I hold my mouth when I do my makeup. It's quite hilarious. So you can go ahead and laugh now, but then just forget about it the rest of the video and we'll pretend I'm not doing it anymore. Now you will see I'm taking the light green shade from this palette and I'm putting it on the outer corner. And as I'm kind of patting it in, I just blend it out with the end of the brush. I'll also have all these brushes linked in the description box as well. Brushes really are just as important as the eyeshadow itself. Now I'm gonna go into this darker green shade with that same brush and just pack it in tight into the crease. Packing colors seems to work better. And then you just Again, you use the lighter shade to blend it back out. Now I'm going back into the lighter shade again, just buffing that out. Really what I'm doing here, the better way would be to just use a smaller brush and blend on the very ends because basically what I'm doing is I'm blending away that second shade and you can see I've kind of added it back, but now I'm going into a deeper green and I'm packing that on, and then I'm going to blend it out with the last fluffier brush. This is a tinier brush since it's a darker shade. And blend it out and blend it out. It takes forever to blend it out. But I'm trying to create a wing, if you can kind of see it. Kind of a wing shape, but I'm doing it with the eyeshadows. And then in a minute, I will clean it up and you'll see more of what I mean. Now I'm going into a deeper shade, just repeating the same process. Just trying to get that contrast in the outer corner. I love uh, eyeshadow look with like contrast. I love like the deep, dark outer corner. 
and again with the way that I'm holding my mouth. Never mind, we're supposed to be forgetting about that. I forgot. I told you I love that dimension, definition, whatever. So here I'm adding the black shade. Love the smokiness that a black gives the eye look. Especially one that I'm creating, which is kind of like a wing. Graphic liner moment. Slash cut crease. I've learned too, the best way when you're using several shades the way that I am right now, when you're adding like a black, use the darkest color used above that, if that makes sense. Now I'm just cleaning up these edges with the makeup white. Okay, here I'm taking a pointed Q-tip and some micellar water. And I'm going to get some on the end and then I'm going to clean up my lid with it and make it like a wing shape basically a cut crease now I have some concealer and a flat brush a flat shader brush this one's from BH cosmetics and I'm going to use the concealer and cut the crease. Now you can see I'm excited because my vision is starting to come to life. I'm going to use the shimmer in this Adept Heather Austin collab palette and put that on my lid. Look at the shine. I really, I just love eyeshadow. I love makeup, period, but eyeshadow is my absolute favorite. Now I'm just adding this yellow shade into my inner corner. Light shades always look good in your inner corner. It kind of brightens your eye up. A lot of people like matte shades, like light matte shades, pastels or a white. I like that too, but I'm a shimmer girl at heart. What girl doesn't like glitter? These are the Game Beauty liquid liners. These are some of the best liquid liners that I have ever used. And I'm not just saying that because I have an affiliate code with them. They truly are good. I mean, look, they speak for themselves. Just gorgeous. I'm just adding some dark shades to darken up the outer corner of that liner I'm telling you these unearthly cosmetics palettes are unlike anything I own and I have over a hundred palettes they are just stunning the mattes blend perfectly but the shimmers they will take your breath. They are gorgeous. The multi-chromes are just out of this world. I highly recommend you checking them out. And like I said, I will have them all linked in my description box. Now I'm just curling my lashes, getting ready for mascara. I don't always curl my lashes, but sometimes I do. Usually I'm too lazy. Lash glue. I like the duo lash glue in the green label and I'm using Ardell lashes and I will not be putting them on on camera because I look like a fool. You know we all make that mascara face. I guess I do put one on camera.
This is the REM Beauty Pot Concealer or REM Beauty. It's Ariana Grande's brand and I really like that for spot concealing or color correcting under my eyes because I have really dark under eyes. I have allergies. There it is. Now I'm just blending that out with a beauty blender. These are the Paw Paw sponges. They're sold on Amazon. I think they're by Shop Miss A. They are really good sponges and you get six of them for $8. Now I am about to apply the L'Oreal Lumi Glow. This stuff looks incredible under your foundation. It gives you a glowy look. More youthful skin. Now I'm mixing together the Misha BB Cream and the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. I love them both, but I used the Wet n Wild today on its own and I really, really loved it. Which is crazy because it's only $5. You can find your shade in it. I highly recommend checking it out. It's a multi-use brush. You can use it for blush, foundation, cream products like bronzer and, and cream blush. All I'm doing here is using the brush to blend it out and then I'll go back over it with a sponge to get out any lines or anything like that. If you don't take your foundation down your neck, please do. Nobody wants that orange face and nobody wants look, to look like a scary ghost. I'm just giving you a friendly reminder. Take it down your neck. You can thank me later. I'm about... 80% kidding don't take me too serious I mean but seriously you really should I went through all of high school with a pale face and a dark neck nobody was nice enough to tell me about it now I'm using the Huda Beauty faux filter concealer and to be honest I'm using too much but sometimes we like a full coverage moment now this is the Milk concealer. I think it's called the Future Fluid. I'll have it linked to down below. Like I said, I wanted a full coverage moment, as you can tell. Just blending that out with my beauty sponge. In my defense, though, when you put your concealer on your face like this, it kind of gives an illusion of light. And then when you put the bronzer on, it gives the illusion of dimension. Now I'm putting on the Fenty Loose Setting Powder in Lavender, and I'm using my little triangle puff. But first, I'm gonna pat out my concealer to make sure there's no creases. Now I'm gonna use my little triangle sponge. I always dip it in the powder and then pat it out on the top of my hand and then put the remaining under my eye so it doesn't look too cakey. Especially if you're someone like me who has fine lines. Now I'm going to do my bottom lash line. It's the same concept, but here I'm putting down the lightest shade and then I'll deepen it up with the deeper shades. Thank you. 
Now I'm using the ColourPop liners. These are some of my favorite liners. They just reformulated them and made them waterproof, but they already lasted all day long in my waterline. This is my Soul Body All Over Face and Body Cream Bronzer, and I'm taking the brush that I applied my foundation with, and I'm putting it on my face. Just so you know, you don't have to have a brush to apply cream products. You can always do them all with a sponge. I always have for most of the time I've been doing makeup. Now I'm just using the sponge to help blend out the edges of the bronzer. I freaking love bronzer. I always put too much, but I can't help myself. Next to eyeshadows, it's probably one of my favorite products. Here I'm using the bronzer to contour out my nose to make it look sharper and putting it under my lip to define my lips. Now I'm going to blend this out with the sponge, the same sponge I've used on everything else. Blending in that bronzer, realizing I put on way too much. This is the Rare Beauty Blush Enjoy and the IT Cosmetics number no. 7 blush. If you have this blush or you purchase it, keep in mind it really only takes like two dots. It really does go so far and by the end of the night you'll be cleaning it off with some makeup remover. I've never had a blush last as long as this blush lasts. It's definitely worth the money and that little tiny bottle will last you a lifetime probably. Now I'm just setting my skin again with that Fenty powder. It's translucent, so it doesn't cover up anything. It just kind of helps blend it all back out and make my skin look smoother.
This is my LYS bronzer in the shade medium. I told y'all I like too much bronzer. I can't help it. I like to be glowy and hoey. This is my Game Beauty highlighter, and can you believe that it's only $12? Again, it will be linked in my description box. I highly recommend it. Look at that glow. Freaking gorgeous. The link in my description will save you 10 or 15% too. I started watching YouTube videos and probably 2016 or 2017 and I just admired them so much like their talent as an artist and the courage it takes to put yourself on the internet to be judged in front of everyone and like I secretly started doing makeup but I didn't really have the confidence to let other people see it it took a long time for me to do my makeup and even show anyone the makeup. And I just practiced in my room for years since probably 2018 over and over and over. And in learning the art of makeup, I also found my escape, my creative passion. And now I feel confident enough to show people my skills as a makeup artist and I just hope that in posting these videos and putting myself out there that maybe I can help someone else find the same passion that I found the same escape from life because when I'm doing my makeup I don't think about anything else and for a person with extreme anxiety it is so nice for your mind to be quiet sometimes here I'm using the Laura Lee Liquid Lip and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Liner in the shade Cool Brown. These are my favorite lip liners. I love them and they stay the longest. I'm topping it off at the end with a By Mario lip. I'm not exactly sure what the shade name is, but it will be in the description box. I would like to take the time to thank everyone who begged me to make this video because it really took me out of my comfort zone, but I'm so glad I did. And here's the finished look. What do you think? You can do it too if you just try. It just takes practice, that's all. Thanks for watching my very awkward voiceover video. Bye.